2016 regularly scheduled Midland Board of Education meeting. At this time, if everyone would turn off their cell phones, I would appreciate it. It um, disrupts our TV feed. <laughs> and, pardon me? My phone's off. Okay, excellent. <laughs> and if everyone would rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> all right, at this time, Scott, can you do our roll call, please? Absolutely. President Brandstand. Here. Vice President Singer. Here. Treasurer Wasserman. Member Baker. Here. Member Frizee. Here. Member Gordon. Okay, we have a quorum. <coughs> All right, next up is our consent agenda. Item 2.1 is approval of the meeting minutes from July 18th. 2.2 is a list of staff members who have, <coughs> who have announced their resignation. 2.3 is um, the network and phone system maintenance contract. 2004 is the following persons are recommended <coughs> for employment for the 2016-17 school year. So we have, I didn't even count, two, four, six, 16 people listed. And I'd like to welcome Megan Frost, who is um, here tonight. Thank you very much for coming to our board meeting. Congratulations. 2.5 is approval of <coughs> the payment of the school system's bills for the month of June. And 2.6 is legal invoices for payment. Do I have a motion? I will move that we adopt consent agenda items 2.1 through 2.6 as listed. Support. A move by Scott, supported by Pam. Is there any discussion? You know, sometimes I, uh, I look at those uh, staff members that announced your resignation, and I bet others have questions too. Um, but I went through all the, the little notes that they turn in, and I, I saw a lot of um, thank yous for the opportunity to work here. Truly enjoyed the experience. Um, I will miss working with such a wonderful staff. So um, many of these uh, were going on to uh, be subs or other job opportunities. So I just thought it'd be nice to, for others to know um, some reasoning behind what we see there. You're welcome to Megan. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Good to have you aboard. All right. Any other comments? All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Consent agenda passes. So now Item three, Board of Education okay. matters. Pr presentation of the board for action. <coughs> we have the central auditorium construction bid, sir. Are you going to take that, Mike? Sure. Um, so we, we have the tabulation of the bids there for you. Um, low bidder in all cases. Um, and this is the mechanical and electrical portion of the auditorium. But the, the rest of the auditorium, the actual um, remake over of the auditorium um, is being bid out this fall. We had our last meeting just last week on it and it'll be ready soon to go out to bid. Thank you. All right, do I have a motion? A motion to accept uh, item 3.1, the central auditorium construction bid. Support. All right, moved by Pam, supported by Scott. Is there any discussion? Glad to see they're all local contracts. Yes. I know we had some discussion mm -hmm. at FFO on that, and tonight we got to do another walk through the central elementary school, and things are really moving along on that, and this will just be the next piece of action on that site. <coughs> so. Very exciting. Yes, and it's good to know at FFO when we discuss, we always talk about how there is a group of people that have come together to discuss the auditorium. It's not, you know, being done just by a few people. There is actually a group that they use their comes group. together yep. and yes. right, is discussing the needs of the building. All right, any other discussion? All right, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, item 3.0 passes. All right, item four is request to address the board. Did we have anyone? Okay, would anyone like to address the board? Okay, moving on then. Item five, FFO. Um, we have the study committee um, 
minutes from August 8th. And Patrick, were you going to read those? <coughs> I am, yep. Thank you. So we met August 8th. Uh, members present, Angela, myself, Lynn, Mike, and Bob. Uh, short meeting here that Daryl reviewed with the committee the bid package and award recommendation for phase one work on the Central Park Auditorium. Alternates to the bid package were also disclosed. In addition, the work schedule for phase two on the auditorium renovations with, with estimates was reviewed. Next meeting is Monday, September 12th at 5 o'clock. And I just have uh, one set of uh, one gift here, actually, for information only. You don't need to act on it. It's for $1,833.92 for water coolers um, for Plymouth Elementary from their uh, PTO. All right. Thank you very much. Item 6, Human Resources. We do have uh, an employee who has passed away we'd like to recognize. We extend our sincere sympathies to the family of Mr. Ernest Malzone, who passed away on July 14, 2016. <clears throat> Mr. Malzone was hired in 1962. He was a high school physical <coughs> education teacher with MPS for 34 years, retiring in 1996. Mr. Malzone was a longtime high school track and field coach as well. Thoughts go out to his family. Item seven, we are already to correspondence to and from the Board of Education. Um, let's see, eight scheduled activities. Just note that our next board meeting will be September 19th. Hard to believe school will already be in session by the time of our next board meeting. And the rest of the dates are in the agenda for anyone who is interested of the rest of our meetings. And at this time, we'll move into our study discussion session. And I will start with you, Patrick. All right. Um, I don't have much new tonight. Um, again, I was impressed seeing the progress of Central Park Elementary tonight. It's mm -hmm. Looking forward to seeing it uh, as the progress goes. And seeing it enclosed at the, I was told, at the end of fall. Uh, I'd be careful how I word that. Um, I don't have much. But everybody has a safe, uh, healthy start to the school year. Good. Um, I uh, really enjoyed seeing the Central Elementary as well. Uh, the technology infrastructure we're investing in is exciting to see that come to fruition, as well as the bid package um, with the auditorium. Um, just starting, starting more great things or, or continuing the role, <coughs> I guess, is a better uh, word. Uh, the playground equipment that Sharon Mortensen came and talked to us about, the Midland Community Foundation, no, they're still accepting donations toward um, toward that for our community, and I think it would be just a wonderful uh, thing to support for the whole community, not just that elementary school, but uh, having opportunities to go and bring kids to, to play and learn as um, their outdoors would be wonderful. I'm also excited about the project-based learning that's uh, been happening right here with the teachers getting ready for STEM and uh, look forward to the new um, ways of teaching in the classroom and, and looking forward to hearing uh, how that goes. That's all I have. Um, <clears throat> just a quick question. I, I was not here for the meeting where, when Sharon gave the presentation, but for our, our viewers, where can they make any last minute donations? That would be the Midland Community Foundation. Okay. Uh, right on their front page, I believe, there's a link. Okay. I didn't know that. I was just asking. No, that's um, great. So a great summer. It, it's gone by really fast, and school is obviously just around the corner. So wishing everybody a, a safe end to their summer. Um, not a lot tonight. We had a very efficient meeting. Um, so that's it. Yeah, it was fun um, to join the rest of the group here on the tour of Central. It changes each time we go, and uh, it's really exciting. I, my youngest daughter, who is... Uh, actually, student teaching uh, next year came with us to see what uh, is going on in Midland Public Schools. And since she's a science uh, as, and interested in STEM, so I'm in interested to see what her feedback is as well. And for all the staff that got to go, a lot of staff went through tonight too. And um, I'm sure there's lots of oohs and ahs and excitement. And uh, let's see, lots of interesting um, and fun programs I've been reading about in the paper. There was one on was it Eastlands program that was just in recently with their yeah. STEM program. So the kids have been having a lot of fun learning this summer, and 
Uh, and I hope that they enjoy the next few weeks before their opening day of school. And I look forward to that as well. And opening day for the teachers this year with a lot of new teachers joining the ranks here at Midland Public Schools. That should be a, a real special day. So that's it. I think um, hopefully everyone in the newspaper got there are schools. Um, if people haven't, you can also find it on our website. There's a link to it, and it has some great information in it. It also has some bus schedules for this year. Hard to believe we're to that point. And it also has um, State of the District at the back. So some good information to read. Um, really makes you proud to be part of Midland Public Schools with everything going on in all the different buildings. Um, you know, it feels like summer's pretty much over. High school sports has started. They started officially Wednesday, I think. What is it? Football, they can start early or something. Yes. Um, if that, I know we got um, an email about, um, I forget, we have to sign a contract or something, but it's exciting. Um, the high schoolers this year will all be getting their own laptop computers, and I know that will be very exciting to see how that changes things um, in the schools and changes the way learning happens. and gives everyone the same device, puts everyone on a level playing field, and I really think that that's fabulous. So that is all I have. Now I'll turn it over to you, Mike. Um, along with all the bond work that we've talked about tonight, we have Plymouth and Woodcrest. Um, we've done a walkthrough with our engineers and architects there, as those will be the first two elementaries that, we, that will be uh, seeing floor renovations. Those floor renovations will go start next spring and go on for about a year. <coughs> At the same time, while those are going on, we'll be um, working on s secure entrances for all of the buildings. So that's our next set of work that'll be going out. And so those bids will be going out this winter, next spring, as we go forward. So that was kind of exciting to see and see having the engineers walking through those buildings and making sure everything we listed, <coughs> I think two and a half years ago on the bond, was still relevant today for that work to, to go on through there. Um, we did talk about the auditorium and the, uh, the users group of that auditorium that we hope probably for the final time and now it, um, the design will go to estimating and then it will, it'll go out to bid from there so we got about a month or so of work before that uh, will go out to bid um, opening day breakfast i do want to mention it um, 47 at least 47 new staff members and actually maybe a little higher than that uh, at this point um, probably one of our hi largest hiring ever in middle public school history, so a lot of excitement in the room for that, as well as I think we have a pretty unique uh, opening breakfast speaker. It won't be me, as I'm <laughs> certainly not an exciting speaker, um, but I had the opportunity <laughs> to uh, hear the Indiana Teacher of the Year speak, um, and she'll be here uh, presenting to our teachers as well. So a colleague, uh, somebody who's been in their field, and she has a very strong story that I won't tell you ahead of time, about her career and where she's been and what she's done. So we're very excited about having her as our, our um, opening day speaker. Enrollment and staffing, and so we've been tracking enrollment as close as we can because we, we, you know during these times we want to staff as close as we can. And um, I will only tell you that um, I think enrollment will probably beat what we um, adopted our budget on in June. Um, long way to go until October. A little after a little bit of gap after October before it's certified, so there's a lot to get to be seen, but right now we're trending where we'll beat our budget at number, which is another plus for us as we go forward. And that is all I have for you. Okay. Anything else? All right. Then I will end the meeting. Thank you all very much. Is that a record right there? 13 more? That, very well, that very well may be a record. Oh, no. I'm so proud of you. Go back to some of the hobby stuff. We, we found one. Have you really? He's going to be yeah. done. He'll be out sunning himself. Take a walk. <laughs>